I am now going to describe exercise three um, where I explain how to do a visual check of the data using line profiles. And I'm going to keep using the same image. So wild type plus DNA, image 30, channels two and three, Z plane number six. So we're going to use Fiji's line tool to draw a line in the image going through some of the sting and NLRC3 staining. To do that, we're going to click here uh, and draw a line through some of the areas where there is staining. We can then make a profile of the pixel intensities along this line in whichever channel is currently selected by doing um, analyze plot profile or by pressing control K or just K that will draw the profile. So this will draw it in the first channel, which in this case is um, the sting or magenta channel. And if I switch and do this again, so I'm gonna press the letter K to do it again, this will draw it in the other channel. Now with this uh, data as it is, uh, we could copy this data out to something like Excel or whatever your, your favorite spreadsheet or plotting program is and plot these overlaid um, to see whether there are things that coincide or don't. Um, that is a lot of extra work that we might not want to do. So I'll show you a shortcut that will create a plot with both of these uh, in one step. So to do that, you will need to use a macro called RGB profile plot. This is not something that I wrote. This is something that, that is freely available um, uh, online with Fiji. So I'm just going to take advantage that someone wrote this very useful little script and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to drag this into Fiji. When I do that, the sort of script editor in Fiji opens. And all I need to do to get it to work is to make sure I've highlighted um, the image and that the image has a line. And when I press run, it creates a, a plot of the first channel and of the second one. And you can see that by default, the first channel is shown in red and the second in green. Now, if I wanted to make this magenta, if we look here, um, there is a place where it says plot set color red. If we change that to magenta, and rerun it by making sure that we've selected the right image, it transforms the plot into a magenta and green coloring scheme. Uh, one more thing I'll say about this, which is that it can be useful sometimes to increase the thickness of this line to average out a little bit of the pixel to pixel uh, variation. And that you can do by double clicking here and increasing the line thickness. So that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Uh, but you could try this. And then if you run this again, you'll see that this is a smoother uh, case because it's averaging the pixels along this line. So uh, be careful with that because, you know, if you're really interested in pixel to pixel co-localization, now you're averaging pixels that are adjacent, but not necessarily the same one. But it can help, again, with this sort of exploratory analysis to get a better idea of what's going on in your data.